What's up, guys and gals? How you doing today? I hope it's a very good day for everyone. I hope everyone's having a good time. Doing whatever the hell it is you're doing. Um, I just, this video is dedicated to recovery. I want to tell you um, why I think you should or should not do recovery. Why it might work for you. I'm going to go over the pros and the cons. And first off, I just want to say uh, there are there are more pros than there are cons, but that doesn't mean it's all good. It depends. It's a personal preference, you know. Maybe the cons that I that I see that I bring up wouldn't personally bother you, whether you have bad hygiene or you're just a horrible person. I don't know, you know. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. Well. Here, do, 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 where the freaking heck is it? Okay, so first I will go ahead and go over the cons, okay? And then I will go over the pros, okay? Now, <clears throat> the cons are all, they're all very close in subject. They're all, um, you could say, in the same place a little bit. Uh, maybe these things are a little bit different, but not much. So, first off, um, the truck you pick up, the truck you recover, uh, it could be very disgusting. It could smell, it could stink, uh, it could have dirty shit all over the place. Uh, and when I say shit, I mean literal shit and just shit everywhere. Uh, it's, it's really hard to say. It's a mystery game. It's, it's like um, opening up the box. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what the fuck you're going to get. Excuse my language. Sorry about that. Um... You're always you're always moving. That is a con. You're you're moving more than if you were just a regular truck driver. You're always moving. You're always in a different truck at a different terminal, in a bus, in a plane, in a in a jet, in a subway. You know, you're always somewhere different, um, and that definitely can be a con, uh, especially if you have packed rather rather heavily. Uh, it will be difficult. Trust me. That's why I got rid of the giant bag that I showed you guys in previous videos, and I have a much smaller bag that I could toss over the truck if I really wanted to. Uh, another, another thing, um, actually, you know what, that's it. See, that, see, I, I like I said, the, 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 the list for the cons is rather, rather short. Okay, so those are the cons, you know, take them how you will. Uh, I, I, let me break them down for a minute. You know, when it comes to stinky trucks, I wouldn't say it's 50-50, I would say it's almost guaranteed. It's almost, it really is, you're not going to get a truck, unless it's a brand new truck and they need you to move it. Because when it comes to recovery, they're doing, you're doing two things. You're either moving a truck that they just need moved for whatever reason, or you're getting an abandoned truck. So, I'm not going to tell you it's not going to stink, it's probably going to stink almost every time. This one stinks, but hey, I just got used to it, right? It is what it is. As far as dirtiness, that's a hit or miss. That right there is a hit or miss because it comes down to the personal preference of the, the individual who owned the truck or drove the truck, how they live, their kind of lifestyle. And that's why I, I said, jokingly, but uh, all seriousness, um, it, that con might not bother you. Maybe you're a fucking pig. Maybe you're disgusting. Maybe you leave your shit all over the place. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't know um, what the what the meaning of clean and cleansiness is. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're all very clean people. Um, let's get to the pros. So those are the cons. Like I said, there's not a whole lot. I try to go in depth on them, but it's hard to, it's hard to do that. Because um, it's just not... It's, like I said, they're kind of all really just in the same subject. So pros are good ones. Um, you have no time limit. Uh, now with the load, if you're a regular truck driver with the load, you know, you're, you're on a schedule. Now here and there you might have time to mess around or fool around or do whatever you want. But for the most part, in recovery, you're your own person, man. There's no time limit. You don't have freight that's going to go bad. You don't have a, a customer that's like, I need my shit now because it's a salary pay. No more, no less. It's always going to be the same. So the fact that you're, you, what that comes to with pros is, um, oh, you, you you have time freedom. You want to go to the movies in some town that you're going by and there's a movie that's playing, go watch that movie. You want to go stop at IHOP and get some food rather than nasty trucker food, go get some IHOP. You want to go to the mall, go shopping, go to the mall, go shopping. Now that being said, obviously, you know, there is a 
a, uh, you can't just mess around. You can't be like, oh, well, this is this is a three-day trip, but I'm going to take five. You know, come on. You can't do that. You, that. That's stupid. Now, what I mean is, you know, you have time. You're not on, you're not like getting choked by a noose. You see what I'm saying? So, it, it is good in, in that, um, in that sense. Um, the next thing is you don't have to deal with the trailer. That's an awesome pro. You don't have to deal with the trailer. And with that being said, like, coming back to, you know, going to IHOP or the movies or whatever, you can pretty much go wherever you want. Bob telling people don't really, it's not a huge issue. It really isn't. Um, so that's really nice. You don't have to deal with the trailer like all these other truckers do. It's just, uh, one less pain that you have to deal with. Um, uh, this is a good one too. Uh, most truckers, almost all truckers uh, that are OTR or whatever, they have cents per mile. That's what they get paid off of. So, I mean, if they're on a dedicated account, maybe it slows down in the winter, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it slows down at some uh, sort of period. I don't know. But for the most part, most of those dedicated, they, they do have a set pay, kind of. They know what they're going to be getting every week. But it's rare. Even at that. Even if it's dedicated, that doesn't mean they're going to get the same amount. You a recovery driver our salary pay this is definitely another pro uh you're not making any more you're not making any less you have a set yearly gross of income a set yearly gross of income and it's nice to know what you're making uh not to get too much into it but i make a i make about you know after taxes we'll say 39,000 we'll, we'll round it up to $40,000 a year not bad that is now let me just i don't want to go too off subject but in california which is one of the most expensive states to live in most uh you know the high, high, most most uh laws highest taxes it's it's an expensive motherfucker let me tell you so that being said you know uh Fifteen thousand dollars a year yearly gross income that's poverty twenty thousand that's poverty twenty five thousand that's barely breaching the surface of water that's barely getting your head above water so if you're making anything above twenty five thousand you can live a very comfortable life in california or anywhere else for that matter so forty thousand dollars a year uh gross income it's not bad it is it's good pay um that's that's well above the average american let me tell you that's well above the average american there's people who go to school for years with degrees and, and go to school <clears throat> for years i mean five six seven years with degrees and you know they they barely scratch that kind of money yearly gross income you got to understand man people for instance you know people who make a hundred thousand a year eighty thousand twenty uh, or eighty thousand seventy thousand sixty thousand fifty thousand these are all numbers that are high in the tax bracket these are high uh compared to the average american this is a you could what you make fifty thousand dollars a year you can all right you make forty thousand dollars a year you can live a very comfortable life you can live on your own you can probably support you could probably support two people. You could support two individuals. You can live a very comfortable life and live mm, not anywhere you want, but close to it. Now, if you're on your own, yes. Maybe one other individual, yes. You could live anywhere in America that you would like, that you would choose to live and, and live a comfortable life. Maybe get a car, you know, all that. Uh, so, and like I said, I don't want to focus too much on that, but I just, I want to bring that to light to people who don't really get it, you know, it, it's good money, it's good, and in the trucking industry, and like I said, I'm not trying to get off the subject, but in the trucking industry, I want you to know that, that you can make anywhere from $20,000 a year up to six figures, up to $150,000 plus a year, and, and, and now a lot of these truckers out here, you know, you just got to get it, man, you got to do research, you got to understand, you got to understand, because if you don't understand, um, you're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. And, th and that's all I can say about that. There's truckers out there who barely scratch $500 a week and they've been trucking for 10, 19, 20 years, whatever. You know, and and, and to me, they, now here's the thing about that. Here's the thing about that. Hear me out. You know, everyone has a personal preference. If you are happy with what you are doing, you make shit money, that's on you, okay? If, if you're happy, that's all that matters. But some of these truckers, let me tell you, some of these truckers out here, they settle for this and they don't even know or realize or, or get that they can make 
much, 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 much more money. And there's a lot of variables that come into it. You know, uh, a lot of things plays into it. Uh, the company you work for, what you're doing within the trucking industry, because there's thousands of different venues. You see what I'm saying? Um, but yes, anyone, anyone can make six figures a year. It just comes up to dedication. Do you want it? Do you know how to obtain it? It's not necessarily, yes, experience does have to do with it, but it's not an experience issue. That's not it, okay? And it's not just trucking. I know I'm totally getting off subject right now, but there are many different uh, jobs out there that don't require uh, a diploma. They don't require a degree, and you can make uh, you know eighty thousand dollars a year. It is very, very possible. There's several, several jobs out there. Maybe you just need to get the creden credentials or whatever. But I, I want people to know that there is money to be made, man. People drive me nuts saying that uh bitching about jobs and hard to hard to get jobs aren't hard to get all right i'm uh, blah, 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 off subject enough now um the last thing i want to say about recovery is that um i don't have notes i don't use notes i don't write um uh yeah so salary pay, it's great. You know, you're not on cents per mile. You have a set amount. Maybe it's not the most to you personally. Maybe it's the most, it's a lot to others. It's, it's a good amount of money. It's a good amount of money. It, it really is. And yeah, you can go anywhere. I think I covered all the cons or pros. So I covered the cons, covered the pros. Um, any questions any of you have, whether you don't do trucking or you, you're in the trucking industry, if you have questions, I'm rather confident I can answer them. If it's about recovery or anything else, just comment below. Let me know. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, comment below. Share. Subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, this is your first time viewing this, subscribe. And there's something I need to say once I pick a winner. By the way, don't be commenting below, hey, you haven't picked up. If you would watch the video and watch watched it fully I mentioned in the video I would be picking a winner on the 25th I shouldn't have to bring this up but I'm bringing it up just just in case you know because I can see someone commenting below saying hey where's the hundred dollars <laughs> so that's all I have to say uh, have a good day like comment subscribe all that good stuff please subscribe I do appreciate it you know I'm I, I, and I'm a very uh, generous person I make good money and uh, I'm generous you know I got some, I got some cool mind I got some cool prizes in mind because I feel like these are benchmarks, you know. 500 is a benchmark. I've already gotten freaking 25 since I posted that video. That's crazy right there. Tells you something. But that's cool. It's cool. I totally appreciate it. Um, so this is a long video. Have a good one. Peace.